Well, welcome back. There's something very appealing about living life on the road. New places to see, new people to meet. The RV industry began 100 years ago and still remains one of America's favorite ways to travel. David Woodworth is an RV historian, and right now he joins us from the RV Museum in Elkhart, Indiana. Isn't that right, David? That's right, Molly. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you so much for being here. My brother and his family just took a huge RV trip for the first time and they had a blast. And I wonder if you could kind of, because you're a historian, let's take a look back and tell us what the first RVs looked like. Well, uh, right here we have a 1916 telescope apartment. You wouldn't think there's enough room to sleep in, but there really is. It drops down. And here it exposes the bed. Look at that. Then it has a slide. And you pull this out. And then the sides slide out. And you've got a bed. All the modern comforts of 1916. You're ready to go and see the country and that, do it in style. Look at that. It's so compact. P put your hands on that mattress. Does it look like it'd be a comfortable place to sleep? Well, you know, it's not it's not too bad. A matter of fact, see it has both sides slide out. Gives you the whole bed. Wow. So I everything like that. every you know, you know, now if you like this, you'll love my Fleetwood that I travel a country in. It is really nice. Now, remember how these slid out and gave you extra room? Yep. Well, watch this. Look at see the side sliding out? Look at now, that. It's done with a, and now, now, see, that is comfort. See the TV back there? Stainless steel appliances. I mean, everything you have in real comfort. Washer, dryer, in the bedroom. You can lay in bed. You can watch TV. This is really the way to see America. You stop wherever you are, you're always at home in comfort. That's amazing. That looks bigger than my house. You look pretty comfy in that <laughs> RV. They certainly have come a long way. And one of the things oh. I read is that RVing remains the most affordable travel options for families. So I'm wondering if that's true. I also heard that the RV industry has taken a turn for the green. Yes, that's actually true. The RV industry is always adapting to where we are in our culture with the the, uh, the amenities and the technology that are available to us. In 1916, this was state of the art. However, today we've gone past this and we're continually evolving. If you want to know more about RVing, check out our website, GoRVing.com or maybe go to an RV dealer and look, kick some tires, meet with some people. They'll help explain it to you and help you find a unit that would be suitable for your family. I think RVing has come a long way, baby. Yeah, it really has. <laughs> it really has. So that's probably the first thing people should do if they want to get started in RVing is, going, is visiting that website, right? Absolutely, because it'll give them all kinds of uh, answers to their questions and it will help them develop new questions that they haven't even thought of so that when they go and talk to an RV dealer or, a, or someone, they'll be prepared. And there's something for everybody. You can take your families. It's a great way for your family to get out and enjoy the great outdoors and have a comfortable bed and bathroom. I mean, it's just the way to go. I love it. I love it. It looks comfy, too. Thank you so much for joining us on The Morning Blend. Thank you so much for having me. Nice to have you. And for more information, you can visit the website that David just mentioned. It is GoRVing.com. And stick around. The Morning Blend will be right back.